I'm about to talk to Harvey Alexander, the Director of Marketing and Membership Services. He's going to tell me what's going on in Club World. He's also said we're going to go for a bike ride and that I should wear my Lycra. So he'd better be wearing his Lycra. Harvey, what, what's going on? You said Lycra. I know, Matt, I'm really sorry, but you know, when I sent you that email, I just thought you'd see the underlying sarcasm within it. Clearly not. No. You, you are looking good today. I'm looking like Mickey Mouse. No, no, Mickey really Mouse shorts. has never been that fit. Um, you're looking good. What is this, like mutual appreciation? But you are. Well, thank you, sir. You know, it's all about getting active, getting in the outdoors. You've had, no, you've had no time for that over the last 18 months. It's been crazy for you, hasn't it? Well, it has, but I have still been able to get out. Um, actually, I was just down at Bewley. So we went down to Bewley on one of our pop-up sites uh, a couple of weeks ago. Took the bikes, threw them on the back, and um, we did a day cycling. It was fantastic. I'm interested to understand how it's working at the moment because it feels to me like there's been a big surge. Has there been a surge in membership, for instance? Yeah, we've got a load of new members joining the club, which is brilliant. For a club like ours, you know, we want those new members, new people coming to invigorate the club and you know, believe in what we do. And at the end of the day, we're doing everything we can to inspire people, but also give them that key advice that means that they can come, they can feel at home, and the other thing is, our members, they just love helping other members. So it's been a really, really important year for new membership. But equally, from our existing members, actually out of those members that have joined in the last few years, nine out of 10 have stayed with us this year. Um, how do you plan for that then? Because you could splurge and like put on new facilities, new sites and go mad just to, to cater for all the new members. Who knows what the next two or three years are going to be like? Everybody could be going to Marbella, or are they going to stick with us? We don't know the answer. It's, it's a challenge, and what we try to do is get as much inventory, so as many campsite pitches on sale as possible for our members. We've started selling next year, so giving members the opportunity to book a year in advance. They've done that for the last few years, which we know they absolutely love, so they can plan ahead. Plus, we've got a few sites this year that we've extended, so extended the opening so that they can tour into October, November, which again is really key because we just want those members to get out there and enjoy what we've got. And then I guess the last thing is, we know that members are going to get back to normal. We know that they're going to go abroad. Hopefully, they'll choose to go abroad with the club. You know, 300 campsites across Europe, which members just haven't been able to access for the last 18 months. So they're desperately keen to get abroad. And then if they want to go further afield, you know, this once in a lifetime opportunity of a motorhome adventure to say Canada or Sri Lanka or Australia, there's just so much pent up demand. We know that members are going to be really active in the next couple of years with the club. Are you feeling a change? You know, new members come in, are they doing, do they want to do the, the things that members have always loved or are they branching off in different directions? What's open to them? Well, it's quite interesting. There's, you know, there's some that are doing the traditional member, member thing, if there is such a thing. And there's, what we do know is that a load of our members want to get active. They want to get in the outdoors, you know, um, paddle boarding. We've just set up a relationship and a partnership with British Canoeing. So members can get 10% off when they join British Canoeing. And they've just put all of our campsites against their paddle points across the UK. So, you know, it couldn't be easier to get active and get outdoors. Well, that is the dream, isn't it? Kayaking, biking. Are you ready? Are we actually going to do this thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You've got all the gear. Have you got an idea? <laughs> I'm not sure. If you've got the map, then I'll just follow you. All right. No, no idea. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? Brilliant. Not bad, not good. bad. I think I won, didn't I? I think you always win. Um, every time that we meet each other, Harvey, you have been on a trip and it always includes your bike. Big part of your life. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's my way to unwind, to get outdoors, and it's so nice to combine that with traveling around the UK Sites Network. 
You know, it, it's really important to get out there and experience what our members experience. But equally, I love doing it. Um, I normally take my brother if we're going to do some big rides or we've just come back, as I said earlier, we've just come back from Bewley, took all the family down there, bikes on the back. I just love getting out. It becomes the perfect tool, doesn't it, a bike? Because, you know, members love these sites. They're, they're so special. But to be able to connect to a village or a town nearby, that just makes it perfect. It is. And, you know, Matt, there's so many sites across the UK. You've got 200 club sites. You've got over two and a half thousand certificated locations, which are our little micro sites that take up to five outfits. So there's always a little place that you can find. You get your e-bike on the back of your motorhome or camper van or, you know, on the car, and you can ride out to local villages. You can just discover so much about the UK. And certainly this year, more than ever, our members are talking about how much they like getting out, discovering new places across the UK, and then when they come back of an evening, they can relax, you know, in the comfort of their own home, really. Charge up their batteries both literally and metaphorically. Indeed. So the savings that members are making, can you put a figure on that? You know, are there people who are able to make back the cost of their membership? Well, it's really incredible, actually. Members have saved over £100,000 in our club shop, and collectively, they've saved over two and a half million pounds on all of the offers and savings that they have within the Great Savings Guide or any promotions that we give our members just to make their cost of touring more cost efficient. And are the members who will actually look in the Great Savings Guide and use that to plan their trip and say, what, there's 10% there, 15 off there, you know, and that's the basis of, of why they're traveling. I certainly do. Um, you know, if we're going away as a family, then we'll look at places that the kids want to go to and then we'll guide our tour around that. You know, with two and a half thousand certificated locations, you know, small little micro sites that take up to five outfits and 200 club sites across the UK, you can literally go anywhere and you can find a great saving guide offer that will be, you know, close to one of our campsites. I've got a shocking admission to make, Harvey. I haven't got a bike rack. I've got to get sorted. I, I now realise I need to get a bike rack so the bike comes with me and I can start living the Harvey lifestyle. Well, absolutely, Matt. And as a member, you have access to all of our great offers. So go on to the website, camc.com, and check out the offers and savings that you can have on your new bike rack. I have been schooled. Thank you.